Hello all, Cardinal Carl again. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to enter your time as an exception time reporter. Remember, as an exception time reporter, you only have to enter time when there is an exception to your work schedule. From the Cardinal homepage, as usual, click the time tile to open your timesheet. Once your timesheet displays, first verify that the correct dates display for the time you need to enter. Remember, you can always use the fields within the Select Another Timesheet section to navigate to the applicable dates if you need to. In this case, the correct timesheet is displayed, as we will be entering exceptions for both Wednesday, December 1st and Friday, December 3rd, 2021. Before we start, let me give you a summary of the time that we will be entering. For Wednesday, you were scheduled to work 8 hours, but you actually only worked 6 hours, and took 2 hours of comp leave. Additionally, you did work your scheduled 8 hours on Friday. However, these hours need to be charged to a special project chart field that you are asked to work on. These are exceptions to your work schedule, and therefore you need to enter all of your time for these two days. Let's get started! First, enter your comp leave hours on Wednesday. Enter these two hours in the first row of the timesheet grid, and complete this row by selecting the applicable comp leave taken time reporting code. Remember, if you enter an exception for a day, you must enter all of your hours for that day. Therefore, use the next available row to enter the six regular hours that you worked on Wednesday, and complete this row by selecting the regular hours time reporting code. That takes care of the first exception. Now let's enter the eight hours you worked on Friday that need to be charged to a special project chart field. Use the third row, enter your hours for Friday, and select the regular hours time reporting code. Next, enter the special project chart fields for these hours. Scroll over to the right and click the Chart Fields link for the third row. The Chart Field Common Component page displays. There are a couple of things that I need to point out to you here. There are a few different ways to enter the Chart Fields components. First, you could simply enter or select the applicable information in each of the corresponding Chart Field detail fields. Second, if your agency uses speed types, you can then search using the speed type provided to you and save yourself some manual data entry. For this scenario, we'll use the speed type functionality. Start by clicking the speed type search button. Enter the applicable speed type into the speed type key field, and then click search. The chart field's information populates in the appropriate component fields based on the speed type entered. Review the information to ensure accuracy, and then click the select button. The Chart Field Common Component page redisplays with the applicable Chart Fields information. You can still make manual changes to any of the fields here if you need to. But, if everything looks good, as we will assume it does in this case, just click OK. Your timesheet redisplays. You do not need to enter any hours for Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday since you worked your regularly scheduled hours. Cardinal will generate those hours for you based on your work schedule. Scroll back over to the left as needed, and click the Submit button. Click OK on the Submit Confirmation page, and your timesheet will redisplay. And that's it! You have entered and submitted your time for this particular week, since there were exceptions to your work schedule. You will learn more about what happens now that you have submitted your time in the next module. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time!